Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter has been very enlightening because not only did we learn, for those that didn't know yet, that he's not a genius, but we're also learning that he is a terrible, tyrannical boss. As the Washington Post reports, Elon Musk issued an ultimatum to Twitter employees Wednesday morning, commit to the new hardcore Twitter or leave the company with severance pay. Twitter is shifting to an engineer-driven operation, one that will need to be extremely hardcore going forward, according to the midnight email, which was obtained by the Washington Post. Employees were asked to click an icon and respond by Thursday if they wanted to stay. This will mean working long hours at high intensity, he said. Only exceptional performance will constitute a passing grade. Now, this is the email in full for anyone interested in reading the whole thing, and as you can see, there is indeed a form and employees have to click yes if they want to remain at the company. Otherwise, they will be sent packing automatically. So it seems like a very healthy work environment where your boss sends you an email at midnight and says, hey, click yes on this. Otherwise, you're done. I mean... Wow. Now, apparently, uh, sources for the Washington Post say that there is a mass resignation being planned by Twitter's trust and safety team, who is responsible for moderating hateful content. And they are very important if Elon Musk wants to win back advertisers who are concerned about Twitter devolving into a cesspool. And it's already a cesspool when it comes to impersonation, thanks to his new Twitter blue verification program that he had to pause, by the way. But in the event, hate proliferates on the platform even more advertisers just aren't going to come back. But besides him, you know, doing stupid things, making bad decisions and firing employees who don't click yes on his dumb little form, he's also going after employees who criticize him publicly. So he tweeted this out on Sunday. By the way, I'd like to apologize for Twitter being super slow in many countries. App is doing greater than 1,000 poorly batched RPCs just to render a home timeline. Now, one of Twitter's engineers, Eric Fraunhofer, actually responded to that saying, I have spent about six years working on Twitter for Android and can say this is wrong. Now, Elon Musk responded to that saying, Twitter is super slow on Android. What have you done to fix that? Now, that engineer responded with a bunch of tweets using technical jargon that none of us are going to understand. And ultimately, Elon Musk decided to fire him, announcing it on Twitter for everyone to see. Essentially, publicly humiliating his own employee. Now, look, I understand that it was very brave of that engineer to... Tell Elon Musk, somebody who is a megalomaniac, he's wrong, uh, because that wasn't going to go over well. But still, you shouldn't get fired for simply correcting something that your new boss says, right? This is an engineer who's worked with the company for a lot of years. So for him to be fired by Elon Musk because Elon Musk was embarrassed and corrected is just sad, but it's par for the course for a gigantic man baby with a very, very huge ego and thin skin like Elon Musk. And apparently anyone who criticizes him is out like that. The New York Times explains, Mr. Musk's team was asked to comb through messages in Twitter's internal chat platform and make a list of employees who were insubordinate, people briefed on the plan said. They also sorted through employees' tweets looking for criticism. Those deemed rule breakers received emails around 1.30 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, notifying them that they were fired, according to emails viewed by the Times. Several Twitter employees who shared news of Mr. Fraunhofer's firing and in internal chats were cut, said six people familiar with events. They were told that they had been terminated for violating company policy, according to emails seen by the Times. So violating company policy now presumably includes criticizing Elon Musk. Now, look, I understand that if you go out of your way to antagonize your boss, you're putting yourself in a bad predicament, which is why I think that we need unions because this employer-employee relationship is very exploitative in nature. So sometimes bosses are wrong and they need pushback. But if you have a boss like Elon Musk, who is incredibly uh, just narcissistic and thin-skinned and can't take even a shred of criticism then it's going to lead to you getting fired. That doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't push back. And after news broke that he's firing employees who criticize them, 
This is how he responded. I would like to apologize for firing these geniuses. Their immense talent will no doubt be of great use elsewhere. Now, he also made fun of another employee who challenged his ineptitude publicly, but then got fired, saying she had a tragic case of adult onset Tourette's. And let me just remind you here, he's responding to libs of TikTok. This is a hate account whose lies led to literal bomb threats against the Boston Children's Hospital. But Elon Musk is here chumming it up with this hate accounts, and he's doing so while making fun of his own former employee. I mean, to say that he lacks professionalism would be the understatement of the century. This man is a fucking moron. And I can say that because I'm not one of Twitter's employees, but I am a user of Twitter. So maybe he'll penalize me in some way. But just seeing the ways in which he has bungled this to see the comparisons between the Trump White House and how he's running Twitter is hilarious to me. I've said this once. I'll say it again. I sound like a broken record at this point. Um, he has made Twitter a lot more entertaining. I will give you that because essentially everyone on the platform is shitting on him. But I've got to say, I feel really horrible for the employees at Twitter and they must unionize if they want to survive his reign of terror. But if there's any hint of unionization, then he's going to fire them because Elon Musk has a history of being a union buster at Tesla. So he'll no doubt go after Twitter's employees, especially if he's going through their personal messages trying to find criticism. Like it's just genuinely unhinged and he's just proud about this. Yes, these geniuses can go and their talent can be used elsewhere. Like who does things like that? He's not even acting like an adult. He's just acting like a teenager. If you gave Twitter to a random teenager who's like 15 years old, I'd argue that they'd probably be more capable and competent at overseeing Twitter's day-to-day -day operations than Elon Musk. That's how bad he is at his job. And again, he overpaid for Twitter, so now he's desperate to make it profitable because he wants to recoup that losses. And it's just the whole situation is sad. So honestly, to this point, if anyone still simps for Elon Musk, and there are many Elon Musk simps, but if you still simp him for Elon Musk. I just got to ask why? I mean, don't you have better heroes? Aren't there different icons you can, I don't know, look up to? I mean, like, why do you simp for anyone, first of all? But to have Elon Musk be the individual who you simp for still till this day in, in time, when he's proven how incompetent and idiotic he is, I, I find that really sad. But either way, he'll still have his simps and Twitter will still continue to be run into the ground and we'll just all have to watch and try to be entertained by it as it happens. So, yeah. Were you acting like a...